let's have a look here. So interesting, the word symbiosis or symbiotic will mean that two species have a close relationship with one another. However, that can include parasitism and commensalism as well. So you, whenever two species are in a close relationship with one another, that's symbiosis. But when those two species are in a close relationship and both benefit from it, that is then called the mutualism or mutualistic relationship. Uh, mutualism is basically a form of symbiosis. That at least is how I remember it. Although, of course, we all do make mistakes and I may be misremembering it. Okay, let's have a look here. Get, let's get some sandstone. Maybe we'll get some lead. <laughs> uh, ask and you shall receive. And let's, let's ask for some copper over here as well. I, did, I asked for copper, but I did not receive the copper that time. Man, I jinxed myself. Let's have a look here. I think let's head west-southwest. Let's see what we can find in this direction, eh? Follow the trench down. And just overall see what we can find. I do know we're still short the hull of the Cyclops. And hopefully we'll find it somewhere here in the deeper water. If not, we will have to make a plan. I think this is scanner room or bioreactor. What is this? Scanner room? We already have that in bioreactor. We already have. We don't need to scan those now. We have enough titanium as it is. However, we did want to go west-southwest, which is that direction. Thing is, is this something I can scan? Yes, it's the hull. <laughs> hey, tiger plant shooting at me. Where are you? There you are. Yay. Evil little plant. Keep our eyes peeled for some more fragments, especially of the Cyclops hull. Because if we can make the Cyclops, that is also going to be a game changer. Then we really can start... <gasps> Oh, you know what, guys? This is the one with the wreck, I think. Has to be. Because this is a different one from the one that we've visited before, I think. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it is the same one. No, no, there it is. There's the wreck. Oh, finally. Okay, so let's explore the wreck. And we'll slowly but surely then make our way to the Sunbeam landing site over there. Hopefully this time around we'll actually be there. Oh, there's a crate up here. I'm not sure whether there is anything in it. Let's have a look. Nothing there. What have we got here? Power transmitter! Ah, we don't have that yet. Marvelous. Okay, let's head down this way another power transmitter there we already have that now cyclops hull fragment brilliant it's two of three I must just keep an eye on my oxygen although I think I'm still fine I think that is just the power transmitter yeah we don't need that we have that already okay I guess that's it oh wait no, never mind okay Let's just get some oxygen before we head in again. Uh, let's see, what is happening over here? Shocky shockies, that's what's happening over here. Okay, let's go past the shockies. <gasps> Cyclops hull! Yes! And now we can get ready for some... Fun times. Trying to see, is there anything else that I'm missing here? I don't think there is anything I'm missing over here. But surely there should be some kind of data box here somewhere. Let's have a look around. This was the top of the wreck. Maybe able to enter in the side somewhere. I don't think we can enter there. Maybe here? No. 
Maybe from the bottom. I think we can probably enter from below. Just again. Oh, there is an entrance here. I really hate these tight corners. Let's have a look. Which way does it curve? That way. Then that way. Okay, so there's another one that we'll need that for. Okay. Probably going to just open up this door and then quickly go get some more oxygen before we head in here because otherwise I'm probably going to start stressing. Which is not good. Because the moment you stress, it's amazing how quickly your brain just decides to shut down and not do what you want it to do. Uh, this way, you see, nice and calm and collected, everything's fine, but if I had like 30 seconds worth of oxygen, I would have made every single wrong turn possible. Uh, power transmitter, yeah, we've already got that. Can actually enter from the bottom here as well. Okay, good to know. Anything of note here? Really have to. Can oh, there we go. There's another little door here, and nothing. Anything beyond here? No, we can't even open this door. What am I? Oh, it's just a high hull fry whole fragment but we already have that so in essence nothing here a chair have we got the chair oh we apparently have the chair okay well that was an exercise in futility yes but there's nothing else no absolutely nothing else okay Fine, let's go back to our little, you see I'm already taking the wrong turns here. Go in from this side, go left there, and then go that way. Oh, I don't do, I don't do well with tight corners. Not even remotely. Anyway, we made it. Now we can have a look and see if there's anything else around here that we can find useful before we head off. Ah, what are these things? Break purple pine cone. Okay, salt. Of course, these won't actually be pine cones because there are definitely no pine cones under the sea. Yeah, well, I guess just an alien pine cone. Uh, let's head through here. Let's start heading towards the Sunbeam landing site, I think. Because I can s already see myself forgetting to go there. Only I can find the marker. That way. Ah, oh, okay, great. Marvelous. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why on earth the stream is is battling. Um. Yeah, because our internet is, I think, quite alright at the moment. It's quite strange that it is cutting out every now and again. But I'm glad you are back. Yeah, I see we only have two people online at the moment, and I think it's probably because the stream went down. If there's yet a hope. Oh, man. Okay. Let me just check whether the stream is still running. Well, it should be running. Hmm? Very strange. Uh, 
Das weiß noch. Oh, okay. The Hans Jost still there. Well, if you can now see, no. Well, you can comment, see. Interesting. Okay, so the chat apparently is working. Immoral compass, you had a little bit of a of a chat there. I can't see myself. Bone shark chasing us. We're just going to quickly make our way over there. Yeah, and yeah, okay, this after. I'm back now. That is very strange. Okay. Yeah, and it's gone again. Ish. I think the lady, the weird thing is going to talk to us again. Or is it just weird? My screen is looking... Her. Oh, you know what? It's looking weird because my ship is basically broken. I for a moment thought that the... Uh, Emperor, Sea Emperor is going to talk to us again. And then I realized that now it's because my ship is now falling apart again. Well okay. Done, right. I hope it's not failing infrastructure. <laughs> Let me just put some more stuff in here before we go onto the island. Okay, that's about it, I guess. Right. Vital signs stabilizing. My mind is really doing weird things as well. Yeah, I, I've got a stream of about a few seconds and then nothing anymore. But you guys are saying you you can you can see it. Just going to stand here and just quickly see. Yeah, I still have space happening on the recording. The recording is still working. This is very strange. Oh well. Okay, uh, we are going to come back to this spot in a moment. I see we are too early this time around. Now, of course, it is a danger that now that we have been too early, I can actually potentially completely forget that we, that we need to be here. Which is quite possible. But while we are here, let's just... Diving down. <laughs> Don't worry, Hans. My mother also says I'm special. I tend to agree with her. <laughs> what have we got on the... Oh, we've got the floating islands over there. Bone sharks. That's alright. I'm quite curious. I need to check when we don't have bone sharks potentially chasing us. I need to check what we need in order to make Mark 3 because we're almost at the depth we can go with the Seamoth. Hmm. Just switch the light off and check for a moment. Mark 3. We need that's still three rubies okay that's not too bad if we can get the rubies we can get this done and then we can go down to 900 meters which will be great Oh yeah, diamonds, there definitely should be quite a lot around here. But I'm quite keen to get rubies now though. There's another part of the ship. Or a ship. Let's see what we can get here. I think this is the spot that I was first killed by a bone shark. 
as I came out of the ship here, it did take the last bit of my health previously. Let's hope we don't have a repeat of that. As we head in. Oh yes, the blood kelp. Yeah, I really need to find the blood kelp. I was hoping we'd find it where we had been going now, but alas, not today. Not yet. Acquired. Let's just check for anything else we can use. Places rifle, I think. Yeah, we don't need that. Already have that. Open another door. Oh wow, 499 subs. Hey, Wellington Wallace, welcome to uh, today's stream. Yeah, you could make it as well. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so I'm one away from 500. That's, yeah, I'm hoping that it happens this weekend that uh, we can celebrate. That's going to be quite awesome. Uh, I think a year ago I was at 80 subscribers, or round about there, 80 something subscribers. It's been an amazing, joyous ride to get to the point where we are today. I'm just going to go grab some oxygen because otherwise I'm going to die. I can see that happening. Uh, let's just grab it here. <laughs> so, uh, Wellington Wallace is saying that uh, we got to 500 subs there. <laughs> That's a celebration. That is, oh man, I've been I've been waiting for this moment for quite a while, and now it has arrived. Oh my word! I'm so so thankful for the community that has grown the way it has in the past year. Actually, in the past, I think since September, I think roundabout, yeah, I think since September it has grown so much. But when I started grounded, I think it. It was a hundred and fifty, I think, if even that. I think I had just reached a uh, hundred. Oh, swim charge fins. This is oh, this is going to be useful. Near blueprint acquired. And then with grounded, what happened there is that suddenly my videos were picked up as well. Let's just download you this as well. WN safety instructions appendix A fourteen. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving. I've already got the front suit. What have we got here? Come on, this is a part. No, it isn't. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to scan that. I think I already have the drill arm in any case. I don't think there's anything more here. But yeah, as I was saying, then Grounded kind of kick-started the whole process. That, along with the fact that I started two videos a week. And then now this year, the objective was to start live streaming. And well, here we are. And it's been quite interesting to also see the amount of views of these videos afterwards on YouTube. As I obviously mean, one can't always watch a live stream. And so I tend to cut it into four segments, put it up on YouTube, and then one can view it later on as well. And I think that's also a one of the better decisions I've made. Let's have a look what is over here. Oh. Bone shark, that is what is here. You see, I told you I was killed by a bone shark previously over here. This is the sick one, isn't it? No, it's just a normal old one. Two minutes! Oh my word, okay people. You see, I almost again forgot to look at the explosion, but we're making it, we're going to make it. Oh, I think I hit a reef back. Yeah, hello reef back, sorry. You're in my way. Uh, let's head... Where is... There we go. That way. Okay, we're going to just keep on jumping. Of course, now it's night time.
I, I wanted to see what happens. Can we pick up the mountain with the sonar when you jump out of the water? But yes, we can. Yep. Okay, there we go. And where is my rickety ship? There we go. Let's quickly repair that a little bit. And then we will just run around with our sea glide because that is the only light we currently have. Let's have a look. What do we need to make? Firstly, the prawn suit. Because that is going to be an adventure. Aerogel. Okay, we need rubies for that. Okay. For the Cyclops. I wonder. What do we need for the Cyclops? Advanced wiring kit. How do we make that? Advanced wiring kit. Come on. Gonna be electronics, I'm guessing. Advanced wiring kit, wiring kit, gold and computer chapter. Okay, well that we can make. That is not a problem. And three plasteel ingots. Okay. So we may be able to make the Cyclops tonight. Which would be amazing. Yeah, no, I also sure hope that uh, everything is perfectly fine with old Avery Quinn and them. It's a nice sunrise. It's a hopeful sunrise. I think everything is going to be perfectly fine when the sunbeam arrives in about 30 seconds. And that is not ominous at all. Not even in the slightest. Cheers, Harun. Nice to have you along for the bit. Well, uh, yeah, see you in a bit if you if you make it in time. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? There it is. We see you, Sunbeam. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Not sure why it's blurry, but okay. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Okay. Ah. Hi, Mr. Avery Quinn. Right. Today, I was not a cool guy. I did look at the explosion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, the first time I saw this was the saddest moment in the game for me. Okay. I wonder whether they made it. I hope they survived. Like, imagine in Subnautica 3 we find out that, no, they bailed out just before it exploded. And they were adrift for the entirety of our game. Every time we went north, they came after us, never managing to successfully catch up to us. Like, imagine that's what happened. I think I should grab the gel sack that is here as well. Because... You can always do with more. Okay. But yeah, next milestone, 500k. Actually, I think next milestone is uh, 1,000. If we can get to 1,000, my hope is that somehow we can manage to get to 1,000 subs this year. If we can do that, I will be extremely happy and excited. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the... the rate at which things have been going is just it keeps on astounding me like i am so pleasantly surprised by the fact that people are tuning in to learn more about nature <laughs> with, with the playing of games um yeah it's just something that i thought i've always wanted to have a youtube channel and i didn't just want to have a youtube channel and i wanted to play games on the channel but I didn't just want to... Oh my word, okay. We're going to just put all that away. I didn't want to just play games 
or have a YouTube plan channel and just play games. I wanted to have some kind of purpose. And then the one evening my wife and I were uh, uh, chilling in our dry room with a fire going. And then I just thought, you know what? I think I should start a channel with playing of games, but make it educational. And here we are almost two years later. And yeah, I never thought I would actually get to this point, but here we are. Let's now also charge our little Seamoth, our watery tomb. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> You're just here to see me watch, ex miss, watch me miss explosions. Well, I'm sure there will be ample of ample number of explosions still to to miss so yeah don't worry stay tuned to see when i miss the next one <laughs> uh let's stop scanning so that i can return the heads up display without it just being orange dots everywhere uh there we go now of course our little character is extremely hungry and thirsty so we're just going to quickly sort that out After planting another one of these. Actually, you know what? We have something we can eat. May as well. And so our gel sack farmer or farming or farm has begun. There we go, that's the word. Um just going to quickly plant two of them. Then we should be able to empty all that. There we go. I'm wondering if I am next to the deep shroom that has been cultivated, will it damage me? Yes or no? The answer is no, it won't. Very, very interesting. So, oh, inventory is full, of course. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, so it's interesting that the cultivated deep shroom doesn't harm you if you cut it but if you cut the wild ones it will very similar to what happens in painted uh, not painted reed frogs poison dart frogs where they are highly highly poisonous in the wild because the food that they eat the beetles and ants and stuff like that they get a toxin from that or a compound from that that they then concentrate in their bodies and in essence then become highly highly uh, toxic we are just going to smash that but if you for example have a pain uh, I keep on wanting to call them paint treat frogs if you have a poison dart frog in captivity when they don't have access to those specific beetles that they feed on uh, you're going to eat some more uh, then they don't actually have that toxin in their bodies and captive uh, poison dart frogs are actually not toxic for that reason they don't actually they're not able to produce the toxins but don't go and pick up a wild one because you're gonna die uh, not in a fun way oh I finished this when did I finish this oh, clearly I did oh yes 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 I did I remember now I did finish that I was like okay I must come and finish that platform over there meanwhile it is done uh, what we can have we can put the salt in there we can put the sulfur in there uh, we will put lead in there. Now, the question is... Rubies. Rubies, rubies, rubies. Ruby, ruby, ruby. Um, now I'm just going to make a titanium ingots along. Because why not? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's going to be perfectly fine. Saves a bit of space. For us for later. I also think uh, with the Ark series, it definitely has also it's a new, new, new audience completely that hadn't actually uh, been able or didn't pick up the or that wasn't picked up by the YouTube algorithm with the Grounded series. So definitely a new, new group of people that are exposed to to the channel. But I also think it helps that the there's now basically a video coming going out every every day uh what is 
my Seamoth's health. Is it 100? Oh, it's 100. Okay. Uh, now that I basically am doing a stream on a Saturday and chopping it up into... wondering which direction should I go. I think let's go directly west. Let's explore that way. Uh, basically doing a stream on a Saturday, putting up the first part on the Sunday and the Monday again, video on Tuesday, live stream Wednesday or the part of and on Thursday and another video on Friday. I think the fact that I've got something coming out every day now of the week, I think also is helping the, the YouTube algorithm to just kind of push the, the channel a little bit more. It's always weird to spontaneously see that the channel has gotten a thousand views when everything else just get well I say just gets a hundred views and I'm like wow thinking back at a year ago I was astonished if a view got like 20 views or if a video got like 20 views and now it's amazing to see how quickly we get to that point and move on it's it's become a very very rewarding hobby for me to do this oh goodbye Mr. Peeper shame we're just basically heading straight west and hoping that we find something useful for us. <laughs> What's a fun way to die? Um, well, it, d it depends on fun for you or the people watching you. Because... You know, some things can be funny. Um, not quite, not with death, but there are, I'm trying to think. I, I always use fun as, a, there's a reaper, I think, to the left. And so it's, it's something big to the left, I think I hear, there we go, there's a reaper, yeah. I always use fun in a sarcastic manner, uh, but fun ways, I always go, my default fun way to die is a mushroom. Uh, I know for, a f well, I haven't tasted it, but I know death cap, which is one of the most toxic, if not the most toxic, Mushroom, it's definitely the most toxic one we've got around in, our, in my area. That one apparently tastes amazing. Uh, it's an extremely delicious fungus. I see the reaper shadow, I see the reaper shadow. Please don't come after me. Where are you? There you go. I see you. <laughs> I just saw the shadow. I'm like, oh no, please no, please no. <gasps> Ruby! Success! Okay, so anyway, I always go with with the uh, the uh, death cap. That mushroom is a it's probably the fungus that has caused the most deaths in humans. Uh, partly because if you don't know that it is a toxic one, it kind of looks like many some other ones. Not really. I mean, if you know what to look for, they are very different from everything else. But apparently, they taste amazing, and a lot of toxic mushrooms don't actually taste nice. They Tastes very bitter. This one is a bit of an exception. And apparently then what happens is with it, you get very sick and you think that you're going to die. And then you get better. And everything is fine. And then a few weeks later, your organs just kind of give in uh, due to the toxins. They are... No, it's definitely not a fun way to die, but in a sarcastic manner, yes, a very, very fun way to die. Death by mushroom. I think the most fun way to die is probably just peacefully in your sleep. That is, I think, the only really fun way to die. That's the way I want to go one day. Peacefully in my sleep at age 350. On my own terms, I want to go. But yeah, no. Explo well, exploding in the sunbeam, that's a quick way to go, definitely. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's better than other ways. Definitely. But yeah, these are the typical deep sea vents. Now, on Earth, you would get these, and it is, of course, extremely hot, yes. We're just going to slowly lose a bit of health as we go around here. But you would get these in the deep ocean, where tectonic plates usually are either moving away from one another, or are where one is being subducted under the other one, where one plate is sliding under the other plate. I am not really caring about the whole dying aspect with the heat at the moment. I just want rubies. I am here for the pretty shiny stones. Don't care about the fact that I am dying of heat stroke in the ocean. But anyway, you would get these typical vents 
They in the deep. Yeah, excuse you, Mr. Gasopod. Making all kinds of funny farty sounds in the back here. But you get these there where there is some tectonic movement. And where there is some hot water basically or basically magma coming up and heating, superheating the water. Which is why the moment we get out and we swim closer to it, yeah, we are experiencing the heat of that. And the, some organisms yet are still able to survive here and some thrive over here. Some are found, would, found, would be found only around here. Now on Earth we have massive tube worm like creatures living along these deep sea vents. You've got bacteria living along here quite a bit. Apparently we've got sand sharks mucking about over here. Why are you here? That's my question. That's what I want to know. What are you doing around the deep sea vent? But with the extremely hot water, very few creatures would be able to survive here. Really only your extremophiles or organisms that thrive under extreme conditions. We were heading west, I do believe. Only organisms that are like bacteria, that are able, certain bacteria, that are able to live under those extreme heat would be able to survive here. But they would form the food web or the basis of the food web of a variety of other creatures. Because remember, as you can see here, no light reaches us this deep under the surface of the ocean. What have we got here? That's just normal old salvage, yeah. Oh no, Warper, no, 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 no. I'm just going to keep on swimming, just keep swimming. But so this, there are very few photoautotrophs or organisms that are producing their own food through the use of photosynthesis or sunlight. Instead, what you would have, and I think we're on the edge here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure we... Are we on the edge? I think so. Yeah, this is the drop of... Nope, nope, nope. Because we are not here with the sea moth, I'm not very... Oh, yeah, with we, because we are here with the sea moth and not with the cyclops, I'm not very keen for the leviathans that live out there. We will encounter them soon enough, but not here. Not like this. As I was saying, however... Very few photo ultra troughs would be able to survive here, but... Where's the reaper? There's the reaper. Okay. Good to know. But the bacteria can form the basis of the food web down here because they would be... Uh, no, 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 it's coming after me. I can... I know you are. I know you are right behind me, aren't you? No? Yes? Where are you? Show yourself! There. I think. I think there he, oh, there he goes, yeah. I don't like that sound. Let's go to the surface. At least we got the rubies. That's actually what we were after. So I think let's head home again. <laughs> How many rubies do we have? Quite a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 14. Yeah, that should be enough at least to last us for now. We'll get some more later on when we have our Cyclops. But as I was trying to say... <laughs> The food web would cons would, or the bacteria would form the basis of the food web here, were them then being eaten by things like little crabs living along these uh, deep sea vents, and also being eaten by these tube worms that live along here. So you'll find a whole food web just around these little deep sea vents, and then from there, stretching out in in the deep ocean, very little else. These are little oases in the deep ocean desert, basically. Oh yes, animal! Yeah, it does quite look like, uh, or oh, this behavior does remind me of that as well, er erratic movements. Very unpredictable, or, <clears throat> or like the cookie monster, if he sees a chop chop cookie. You no, know, also very much erratic movements that he has. Similar to what I, how I would behave if I see a cookie or a biscuit or something that I can eat. But yeah, as you were saying there, Hans, uh, Ark does come with a bit of a built-in audience as well. I mean, it has been around since 2015, 2014, somewhere along there. I've had it for years and years and years, the game. Never was able to play it because my computer, I had a really much, pretty much a potato of a computer until two years ago. When I decided to, well, I could afford to upgrade. Until that point, I just couldn't afford to do it. 
And then I waited to play it until my wife could join me. And now that she can join me with that, now we are thoroughly enjoying ARK. If I'm not streaming or editing videos in the evenings, yeah, we, we're pretty much playing ARK because it's such a fun game to play together as well. And as we always say, couples who game together stay together. So <laughs> it is, it's the dream. Um, yeah, but my dream is a reality over here. So that's marvelous. But yeah, let's have a look here. While we dock, let's see. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> yeah, so I I wouldn't go for for death cap. I would I would obviously stay away from death cap. Like my wife and I, we do forage some mushrooms, only the ones that we are a hundred and fifty percent sure we know. I'm just going to put some lantern fruit over here because I do see that the charge is gone. Let's just quickly. Put that in. But yeah, as I was saying, we do forage for certain mushrooms. We get porcini mushrooms, for example. We've got a few spots that we can that we know we can get those. And uh, we've eaten chicken of the woods before, which is also quite an, a fun one to, to make. And yeah, those are the main ones. Although I have also eaten shaggy mane, a type of ink cap or family of the ink caps. Those are also quite cool uh, to eat. Crystals, that's what we are going for here. Crystals. Let's put the rubies with the shinies. And let's actually rename this shinies. Yeah. Shinies! Go, and uh, we can make quite a lot of gel sacks, can't we? Yes, we can. We are, however, just going to whack each of these twice. And then replant, and now we've got a full one, one full of the gel sacks, and we can use the ones we harvested to actually make aerogel. Okay, so we need plasteel, that is quite easy. We really need to rename this. This is CU and PB for lead and lithium. Okay, great stuff. We need two lithium, I think. A good question. Will we ever see a Mr. and Mrs. Ecologist play uh, ARC? It's quite possible. I'm looking at, at Nicola and she is nodding and smiling. So there is a, definitely a chance of that. We have actually discussed a couples gaming channel as well, where we would play games like that uh, cooperatively. There would be that and oh, I have one, to, one lithium too many. There's also a, a marvelous game, story driven game that we had played recently. Uh, it takes two. Which you can't play alone, you have to play it. I need ingot. Um, you can't play it alone, you have to play it with someone. And we've played that and it was just marvelous. Uh, Plasteel ingot. And then we need the three rubies. And then, uh, that'll be on the shinies. Then we can actually make and go deeper underwater. Oh my word, this is gonna be fun. Oh my word. Oh, chanterelles. I've never had chanterelles. I don't think we have them here where I am. Uh, I know of them, but I've never had them. We we basically... Porcini is our go-to foraged mushroom. That's the one that we can get relatively easily, especially now this time of year for us, because it is now... Uh, when Well, it's getting autumn now, so that's when they are flushing, which is a great time for mushroom foraging. I wanted to check, what do we need for the swim charge flippers? I wanted to check that. I don't think we can make it here. We've got to go up. Wiring kit. Oh, polyaniline. Yeah, I don't know how to that make that one yet, I think. Oh, wait, there we go. Nope. I thought I saw green, but it wasn't that. Polyaniline. Gold and hydrochloric acid, of course. Hydrochloric acid. Oh, we can make that. That'll be cool. That means we can also charge anything we are carrying in our hand while we are swimming with it. 
And then we don't need the battery charger. We're going to have that before we have the battery charger. Which is interesting. Yeah, It Takes Two really is a masterpiece. I mean, we didn't get 100% on that one, but it was so much fun working together and having to... You must work together in order to solve the puzzles. Some of them, I'll be honest, some of them were extremely frustrating. But we got it. I don't think we got angry once, eh? Not at each other. Maybe at the game, but never at each other. <laughs> Thankfully. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, blue oysters. We haven't had... No, we haven't had blue oysters. We've had pink oyster, we've had the king oyster, and the normal grey oyster. We haven't had blue, we haven't had golden oyster either. We grew, uh, we grew lion's mane and pink oyster mushroom in, at our house. We have... Sorry? And the? The gray. Oh yes, the gray oyster we also had. Yes, and we currently have a log. Hello. Why is there weird little stalker tentacles coming through my house? Yay! Go away! No, 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 no. I'm just gonna sway like a pella. <laughs> you can't get me. <laughs> but yeah, we currently have a log which with a different species of fungus as well. It's an indigenous South African edible mushroom as well. Um, the wood funnel or the funnel wood mushroom. It's got wood, it's got funnel and it's got mushroom in its name. That I know. The order I cannot remember, but it has got those three things in its name. Okay, now 900 meters. Ha ha ha. Marvelous. Okay, let's get real here. What I want is this. So, three lead, three plastic ingots, three enameled glass, lubricant and an advanced wiring kit. We're also going to... No, well, come on. Why did it take that away? There we go. Don't need that one, but I do need advanced wiring kit, which is up here. I do need that so that we can make it. Okay, brilliant. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. Uh, best way to go about, let's scan for stalker teeth again. I've got one, I need two more. Let's scan for that. Let's go and grab those, shall we? And I must remember, if I see salt, I must grab those as well. If I see salt crystal. Salt clusters, which we'll probably find around here as well. Although I think I've got salt clusters at the base already, but ah well. Any excess we can use to make water, so that's perfectly fine. Any other salt lying around? There we go, so that's three. This is for the polyaniline to make the swim charge flippers. Okay, so there's our first stalker tooth over there. I would expect these stalkers to be able to regenerate their teeth or basically have a an inf almost infinite supply of teeth, similar to sharks, where if they lose one, it is simply replaced by another one further back. Okay, we have a whole cluster, I think. I think that's the cluster that may be in the cave. Either in a cave or, I don't know, fell through the ground. Yeah, it's missing. We're not going to go for those ones. We are going to go for those ones up there. We should have access to them. They should at least be accessible. Yes. Oh, a few. Okay, I think we now have enough. So, yeah, you can scream all you want, little one. Not going to get a response from us. Next up, we need lead. And for that, we need sandstone clusters. So, let's actually go and look here in the red grass biome. See if we can find some sandstone clusters. Now the sandstone they have here is really a smooth one. 
Some sandstone, yes, can be this smooth, but the ones we've got around here, where I am, what on earth is this? That's probably a sea moth fragment. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, the sandstone where I am, as I've mentioned last time, it's being metamorphosed under tremendous pressure and heat. It has actually become quartzite, which is something completely different. Oh, that's just a little speck there. Yeah, I will drive through every single biter I can if I if I have the opportunity. Apparently through every boomerang fish as well. Ah, there's another sandstone. Marvelous. Oh, come on, give me, give me lead. I want lead. I demand lead. Ooh, cave. I think let's go down there. Yes. Let's go down into the cave because nothing bad can happen when you're in a cave. Absolutely nothing. Whee! Oh, you see, good things. We have sandstone. And we're going to get lead from it. Told you. <laughs> Okay, it's not the jelly shroom cave, is it? No, this is a different one. It's a different one, yeah. This looks like a sinkhole. This looks like this was a sinkhole that fell in or collapsed when this was still on land. And has subsequently become a proper cave network. Interesting. Okay, some more sandstone. We're going to get lead from that sandstone. I'm asking. I didn't receive. Ah. Okay, next one. Whole bunch. You know what? We need quartz as well. How's my inventory? All right. Now let's get some quartz while we are here. Because who can say no to quartz? Shiny crystals. Always nice. I am actually very happy about a minor change they had made in the game here. With the Sea Glide, previously you had to cycle through a whole bunch of things just so that you can get the map turned off. Now it's just a click of a button, F, and you can hide your map and you can toggle your lights and it's, it's a small thing. But I appreciate that change because I did not like Cycling through everything the whole time. What on earth? Oh, we've got a little egg. Probably a spade fish egg. We're not going to go for that now. We need to reserve space for useful things like all the lead we're going to get in these four sandstone clusters. Or the three lead we're going to get in the sandstone clusters. I guess that's two at least. Come on, we're going to get the third one here. Ah, okay, well, close enough. I had 50% there, that's a pass. We also need to keep an eye out here on the chat as well, where the things are going still. Well, my chat, my chat at least is working, but my stream is definitely not. So, I, I'm hoping you guys can all see the stream. Can you see the Look me, my chat work. This is so strange. Okay, so apparently... We are not allowed to see our own stream in the house. But we are able to at least chat with you guys and see what the messages are. <laughs> I'm finding that amusing for some reason. Let's have a look here. What have I missed in the meantime? Oh, shellfish. Tua Tua. Okay, so you are from New Zealand there, Immoral Compass. Cool. I think you're the first person that I know then is from New Zealand. That's cool. Okay, so it's, it's fun to know where people are from. And to know that, you know, I'm communicating to people all over the world. <laughs> uh, I'll never get tired of finding out I've got... I'm speaking to people all over the place. I want to see New Zealand for the scenery as well. And, of course, for the flightless birds that are still there, and just for everything. I want to see New Zealand one day. New Zealand, Australia, Canada, yeah, wouldn't mind, oh, inventory is also full. Come 
for now, I'm stuck in South Africa. <laughs> Although it's a good place to be stuck in. I love this country. Oh wow, shuffle your feet in the sand. That sounds like some of the snails we have. Although uh, I'm assuming it isn't a snail, it's, it's a shellfish. Tua tua. Uh, a shellfish, yeah. Okay, interesting. Is it, obviously it will be something like a clam. That's cool. Obviously you have to know which area to look in. Foraging for your, for your own shell, shellfish sounds cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go put some of these things away. We'll grab them again as we need it. Lead. Good enough. Silver. I'll just put in here and gold. Okay. Chinese. Yeah, we'll put them like that. All stuff. Yeah, we've run out of space in all stuff, okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, big fluid intake, which means that we need to go and whack a coral tube again. Get some more water. Should be up here somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to promptly swim past everything. Or swim. There we go. Just about to say I'm going to just swim past the coral tube, apparently. How many do I have? I've got three salt. Let, might as well go for three. Head home. 